Hi everyone, just a quick video on how to test a throttle position sensor. So what is a throttle position sensor? Uh, well, it obviously tells the ECU the amount of demand that you uh, want as a drive, whether you want full acceleration or whether you're freewheeling downhill, uh, the throttle will respond. So some are electronically linked, some are mechanically linked. This one's an all mechanical one. So if I turn this uh, throttle uh, cable here, that's linked to your pedal, you'll see the butterfly valve there open. So if I was on full acceleration, the butterfly valve will be fully open and more air will be allowed to come through and if it was freewheeling downhill then it will be fully shut and no air or very little air will be allowed to pass through so how do we test the throttle position sensor well first of all we need the ignition on make sure you've got a healthy battery and i've set my multimeter to 20 dc uh, volts there so it's going to be a voltage test uh, use your own owner's manual at the other side uh, or the opposite side of your cable you've got a variable resistor which is basically going to create a different amount of resistance and allow us a different amount of voltage through um, through the sensor itself so it's going to put a few guys down there so I've checked the uh, owner's manual and I know which cable to do so first of all this is my top tip get yourself some of these these are t-pins and these are normally for textiles but they're excellent at plugging into the back of sensors and um, using them with a multimeter and crocodile clips especially when you're doing filming so I've checked the wiring diagram one of them is going to need to live in there and the other one have a look at there and the other one is going to live in that bottom wire there so plug that into there okay so I've got my two t-pins there plugged into my sensor if you can see that there and then I've got my multimeter set so I'm going to get my crocodile clips uh, if you get these the wrong way around it doesn't matter you'll just get a negative reading and the sensor itself is a five volt sensor. So it needs a base voltage of around about half a volt. So the ECU knows that the sensor is still active and working, but it won't go any higher than five volts because it's maximum five volt sensor. Um, so you're looking at a range between half a volt and four and a half volts uh, from fully closed to fully open. So as you can see, I've plugged it on. The sensor is uh, fully closed. The throttle body is fully closed. Um, so it's only allowing half a volt or 0.62 of a volt through. As I open the throttle, throttle now with the cable, you should see that voltage start to increase. And eventually, if I get to full uh, open throttle, the maximum that will allow is a feedback to the ECU of 4.57 volts, and that's fully open. If there's any dead spots in between or any big spikes, I'll do it as slow as I can. If there's any big drops or cutouts, then that's telling you that there's a uh, a defective part of your um, variable resistor on your throttle position sensor. I'm just return it back down to zero. Well, what will be 0.62 I'd expect. Nice and steady. Yeah. So there you go. That's how you test the throttle position sensor. Um, and again, between half a volt and four and a half volts. Uh, and again, if you get those two leads the wrong way around, it doesn't matter. You'll just get a minus figure. Hope that makes sense and we'll see you on the next one.